Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this guy right here. The FieldTech FY2300 Dual Channel Function Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Now, uh, just some basic specs. It is 14 and a half centimeters long, 9 centimeters wide, and 5 and a half centimeters high. In freedom units, it's five and a half inches, three and three quarter by two and a sixteenth. This is an extruded aluminum case. You can't tell for sure if it's it doesn't appear to be anodized, but it is a nice extruded aluminum case. So on this side over here. We have our DC 5 volt in, our USB for computer connection, and our power switch. <clears throat> On this side here, we have channel 2, channel 1, our external in, which is for either the frequency counter or this can be used as a slave unit, and our transistor, transistor logic I.O., so this can be synced up to other units. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on the front panel we have some built-in functions here and some arbitrary functions over here. We have our channel lights. So let's power it up and take a look. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the main screen. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Alrighty. Now you can see by the LEDs lit over here that channel 1 and channel 2 are both active. The channel on top is the one that we're addressing. So if I press the channel 2 button, you see how it comes on top. I press the channel 1 button, it's now on top. So I'm going to shut channel 2 off by pressing it twice. And now channel 1 is our active channel. So this thing is good up to 6 megahertz. This is a 2.4 inch 320 by 240 TFT display. It has 32 built-in waveforms and 16 user designed waveform and a 1 microhertz resolution per channel. So if we go through the built-in waveforms we can do it in two ways. By pressing the waveform button, you see we went from sine to square to triangle, and we can also do it by rotating this knob here. Now we're in ramp, negative ramp, stair triangle, stair step, negative stair step, positive exponential, negative exponential, positive fall exponential, negative fall exponential, positive logarithmic, negative logarithmic, positive fall logarithmic, negative fall logarithmic. This is a uh, full wave rectification, negative full wave rectification, positive half wave rectification, negative half wave rectification, Lorenz pulse, multi-tone, random noise, EGC, trapezoid, sync pulse, impulse, AWGN, I'm not sure what that one is. AM um, modulation, FM modulation, a chirp, and then our, what did I say, 16 arbitrary waveforms, and we're back to the sine wave. So for each of our different waveforms, we can adjust each of the features of the waveform that you see here. Frequency, amplitude, offset, duty cycles for square wave only, phase angle, and attenuation. So to adjust them, you're going to press the corresponding button to what you want to adjust. So if we want to adjust frequency, well, we're already in frequency, and we are at, what, 10 kilohertz? Now, you can see that digit is red. You can use these arrow keys 
to select the digit you want to change and then adjust it with the rotary encoder. So if we want one kilohertz, we now have one kilohertz. Five kilohertz. Ten kilohertz. Now our amplitude is ten volts peak to peak. I can press the amplitude button. You see now we're at five volts peak to peak. Offset. There's a negative one volt offset. Positive one volt offset. Uh, duty cycle, like I said, is for square wave only. Phase angle. Attenuation, we're at minus 20 dB. And we can trigger it either off of the external in or by pressing this button you see it is on manual triggering and that is adjustable for each one of these a little bit of technical specs on the unit the accuracy is plus or minus 5 times 10 to the minus 6 the waveform length is 2048 peaks uh, samples 200 mega samples per second and the vertical resolution is 12 bit the output is 50 ohms plus or minus 10 percent so why don't we hook this up to the old oscilloscope and have a little play with it all right so i've hooked it up to the oscilloscope turned off channel two there and you can see we are outputting a 10 kilohertz sine wave, 10 volts peak to peak with no offset. So if we come down here and we look at the oscilloscope, give it a second to settle there, you can see we are getting 10 kilohertz, rock solid on the hardware counter. 50% duty cycle, 10.1 volts, peak to peak. Now, one of the neat features here is the sweep. So if I come up here and press the sweep button, we are sweeping on frequency, and it is starting at 10K and going to 20K and if I hit the time button, right now it's taking five seconds. Let's bring that down to two seconds. And it is in linear mode. I hit the selector switch. And now you can see we are sweeping that 10 kilohertz range in two seconds in a linear fashion. Now let's change the mode here to log logarithmic. And now we have the logarithmic sweep in the same fashion. All right, so let's go up here and we'll stop the sweep. We'll go back to wave. And let's pick a different waveform here. All right, there's our ramp waveform. You can get a good look at that. And I'm going to adjust the frequency up to 100K. Let's take it up, 200K, three, for 500k take it all the way up to 1 meg I mean that's hanging on there beautifully and then again we can go into the sweep and this time we'll sweep the amplitude from 5 volts to 10 volts
and that's a really nice function there. And again, that's available on all of the different modes of the FY2300. Let's take a look at Burst. All right, I've set up a sync pulse here, and the frequency is 100K, amplitude of 10 volts peak to peak, and it's triggered, it's set up for burst, boat, burp, buh, I can't talk, burst mode. So we should get three pulses when I press the button. Here, we'll do it on single sequence. I got four. Let's uh, let me reset that. All right, there. Now we should get one pulse when I press the button. There we go. So you can set up a nice burst mode feature just like that. Okay, the last feature I want to talk about is the software. And you can see we are right now in the control window. And the control window gives us the ability to go through all of our different waves and change everything there is to change about them and output those functions. We also have a text window that will give us some information. The waveform window, which will very nicely allow us to draw some random waves that can then be outputted to uh, the function generator. So that's pretty cool. Lots of nice stuff that we can do there. So here is the item on Banggood's website. It is the FY 2300 6 megahertz arbitrary waveform dual channel high frequency signal generator 200 mega samples per second 100 megahertz frequency meter DDS. It is 82.55 US dollars or 65 pounds shipped to your door direct via Banggood. All right guys that is it for this. I want to thank the fine folks at Banggood for providing this to us out of their generosity for our consideration. And so you guys can get a look at this excellent product. For 80, what, $86 US, you're getting every single function that you would find in a higher dollar waveform generator. That's a heck of a deal. Nice aluminum case. Everything seems to work great. I definitely give this one a thumbs up. And if you guys like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe so you can get more content delivered daily to your YouTube. That's it. I'm out. Peace.